Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today's card showcases the new Donut Worry stamp set and coordinating die, and I've paired that with the Baked with Love pastry bag and another greeting as well. To start, I'm going to stamp the donut from the Donut Worry stamp set. This is a little mini stamp set you can see to the left of the screen and it's got some little sprinkle designs plus some cute little faces with the fun pun type greeting. I'm going to color in my images with Copic markers. The images are all stamped on smooth white cardstock using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink. This is a great ink for Copic coloring as it will not bleed with these alcohol ink based markers. My donuts are all going to be in shades of, the frosting is going to be in shades of pink, um, kind of a, a tan-ish color which is going to be sort of meant to be clear um, and you can see the donut through it and then chocolate. So for the donut itself I'm using a couple shades of brown and then three shades for the pink frosting. All of the colors I'm using are shown across the bottom of the screen. Now I stamped four donuts. That's because one of the designs did not stamp very clearly. On the donut I just finished, I stamped the sprinkles from the Donut Worry stamp set using the plastic Flamingo Lawn Fawn ink, and then added some white next to those with a white opaque pen. I'm gonna move on to coloring in the two other donuts I'm gonna use for my card design today, again using the E31 and E55 Copic markers. My E31 is the base color and then a little E55 to just add some dimension to that. I'm not even blending after I add that darker color. For my chocolate donut, I'm going to use a base of E57 and then go back in with the E59. That's going to really deepen and darken it and give it more of that chocolate frosting type of look. Super easy coloring here. I absolutely love the cute little greetings from the Donut Worry stamp set. Instead of using the additional greeting in the parentheses that comes with this that says be happy, I chose to incorporate another greeting instead. I love that the Lawn Fawn stamps and dies from previous releases and collections and stamp sets all coordinate together so perfectly. Here's my final donut, again using some light colors here so it gives the illusion more of a, a light color frosting or clear frosting. I'm adding some sprinkles with the Lawn Fawn uh, dough ink and then for the dark chocolate donut I am using the Lawn Fawn walnut ink. You could definitely add faces if you prefer that or leave them plain or add your own decoration. From the Baked with Love stamp set, I am stamping the pastry bag, and then I'm gonna color this in with Copic markers. I'm using a very light kind of aqua color. It's the Cool Shadow, the BG10, and then going in with some warm gray markers to give the illusion kind of a very light or kind of white bag with just a little bit of that greenish blue tint to it. Add a little color to the tip of the marker as well. Now originally I was going to just make the tip look like it had some chocolate frosting, but I changed the arrangement of how I was going to do the donuts. So I went back over that with my pink marker and blended it out with the warm gray 00. So it just looks like there's a little bit of frosting there you can see through the tip. There are some faces in the Baked with Love stamp set as well, so I'm going to add one of those to my pastry bag and add some pink with the R01 marker there for the cheeks and then die cut this image with the coordinating pastry bag die. I've kind of laid out my donuts and my pastry bag and the greetings I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go over the pastry bag with the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Pin. Make it nice and shiny and glittery. I'm also gonna stamp some hearts from the Baked with Love stamp set. There's a couple of different sizes. Here's the two that I'm gonna use. And I'm going to color those in with those pink markers, the same colors I used for my donut, and then die cut those with the coordinating Baked with Love heart dies. Those are going to add just a fun little embellishment to my finished card design. Carefully tape those in place. They're so teeny tiny, I don't want them to shift as I'm running them through my big shot. 
From another sheet of smooth white cardstock, I'm going to use one of the stitched borders dies. I'm going to take that right along the border or the edge there and add a decorative edge. Then I'm going to just trim down this panel to two and a quarter inches tall and I'm going to add that decorative edge to the other side as well. This is going to be the strip where all of my embellishments go as well as my stamped greeting. So again, I'm just going to use that post-it tape, hold that in place, run that through my Big Shot, and it's going to give that great decorative edge to both long sides of this uh, cardstock strip. Once I have that done, I'm going to add a little bit of color to this strip. I laid out my images first in the greeting and decided it was just a little too plain and white and so I went ahead and took the Cracked Pistachio Distress Ink and applied it along the bottom edge mostly of this piece. I like to kind of tip my cardstock on its side to apply the color and I'm going to just work that up really using a light hand. Um, when you're applying Distress inks to something other than a watercolor paper. I think they blend a little bit harder So you definitely want to take a much lighter hand when applying the distress ink I did not take that clear to the top of that strip and then I'm going to take the Simon Says Stamp tiny spaced hearts stencil and apply that cracked pistachio ink through that as well definitely concentrating the ink on the bottom half of that strip I am going to start with the Baked with Love greeting that says you are all I need and stamp that there along my strip and take the Donut Worry greeting and stamp that right above so that my greeting reads Donut Worry, you are all I need. So two fun puns there, but I think they work really great together. They're the same font, so it all works together beautifully. I'm going to use some glue dots to attach all of these donuts to my strip and then attach the pastry bag as well. I'm going to attach one of my little hearts there to the end of my greeting, kind of as a nice little punctuation. Then on my white card base, I'm going to take another stencil from Simon Says Stamp. This is the diagonal stripe. And again, take that cracked pistachio ink, kind of make sure it keeps everything consistent and it's going to look great with my strip that I've already created. And I am going to lightly just pounce that color through my stencil. It looks really messy because so much of that ink is actually sitting on top of the stencil. But when I remove it, you can see I have a great diagonal stripe design. I'm going to go back in now with my white opaque pen and add some additional little uh, sprinkles to my donuts like I did for that pink donut. I'll do that for my tan donut and chocolate donut as well. Or my glazed donut, I guess I should say, and then my chocolate donut. Then taking the scalloped borders dies. This is the medium size. There's three sizes of scallops and this is the medium. I'm going to die cut some vellum and I just have a scrap of vellum here that I'm going to die cut two borders so that they can go on either side of this strip. It's just going to kind of help um, pop that strip up from the background just a little bit, add a little bit of interest and definition to that strip, but not take away from the overall design. I'm going to use some nice strong adhesive to glue those vellum scalloped strips to the back of my strip of paper here and then I will attach the whole thing to my white card base. So I'm just using the glue glider adhesive line up that vellum strip really carefully along the top. I'll do the same for the bottom. You could attach this with foam adhesive if you want to. I went ahead and just adhered this directly to the card base itself. And then the last thing I will do is take those two remaining hearts that I stamped and die cut and I'm going to attach those to my card. Make sure I get that strip lined up perfectly. I want it to be exactly straight and I have a little bit of excess I need to trim off along one side. And again, the mini bling glue dots are going to work perfectly for attaching these hearts to my card. Once I have my hearts in place, and I did think I was going to move this one heart, so I peeled it up and moved, kind of picked off the glue dot there, um, but I ended up putting it back in the same place. I decided that was the best or where I liked it the best, I guess. 
I'm going to take the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Pen and add some glitter to those three hearts to finish off my card design. Thanks for joining me for the Lawn Fawn Donut Worry Stamps and Dies. The supplies I've used to create this card are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Here are a couple more Lawn Fawn cards showcasing food and drink stamps. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.